In the wild, speed is crucial for survival, but speed is not a problem for a cheetah, which is the fastest land animal in the world. Globally, cheetahs are famed for their running prowess and strength. Aside from their speed, there are more admirable facts that you should know about this big wild cat. The cheetah is an animal that has a long and slender body that is covered in coarse yellowish fur and dotted with small black spots. Its long tail helps with balance and changing direction quickly, and unlike the rest of the cheetah's body, there are ringed markings along the tail, which ends in a black tip. Cheetahs have small heads, with high-set eyes that aid them when surveying the surrounding grasslands for potential prey. They also have distinctive black tear marks that run from the inner eye, along with their nose, and down to the outside of their mouths, which are thought to help protect them from being blinded by the bright sun. The exceptional speed of the cheetah is caused by several things, including having strong hind legs and an incredibly flexible and muscular spine, which allows the cheetah to not only sprint quickly, but also makes them very agile. They also have non-retractable claws which dig into the ground, giving the cheetah a better grip at high speed. Body lengths of cheetahs range from 1.1 to 1.5 meters, or 3.9 to 4.9 feet, and the height at the shoulder ranges from 67 to 94 centimeters, or 2.2 to 3.1 feet. Their weights average from 21 to 72 kilograms, or 46 to 158 pounds, with the average male larger than the average female. The cheetah is an animal that once had a vast historical range that stretched across several continents, but their distribution today is much more scattered with a small number found in Iran and the majority found in sub-Saharan Africa. Although cheetahs are still found in a few different parts of eastern and southern Africa, the highest population of wild cheetahs is now found in Namibia in southwestern Africa. Cheetahs are most commonly found stalking prey on the vast, open grasslands, but they are also found in a variety of other habitats as well, including deserts, dense vegetation, and mountainous terrain, providing that there are both adequate supplies of food and water. Cheetahs have a unique social order among phalids. Adult females are solitary, while adult males are not. Adult females interact with adult males only long enough to breed, and females raise their cubs on their own. At 18 months, the mother leaves the cubs, who then form a sibling group that stays together for another six months. At about two years, the female siblings leave the group and become solitary, while the young males remain together for life in a group called a coalition. A coalition is usually made up of two to three litter mates and is a very tightly bonded group. Singleton males are not common and usually do not survive long. This coalition will live and hunt together for life claiming a territory, which may encompass several female home ranges. The cheetah has exceptional eyesight and so hunts using sight by first stalking its prey and then chasing it when the time is right. Cheetahs often kill their prey in vast open spaces, but tend to drag it into a hiding place to prevent it from being scavenged by other animals. The cheetah has to do this, as it cannot eat its prey straight away since they are immensely hot after the chase and need time to cool down before it can feast. Cheetahs are carnivorous animals, meaning that they only hunt and kill other animals to get the nutrition they need to survive. They mainly hunt large herbivores including gazelle and some large antelope species such as wildebeest, along with zebras and smaller mammals like hares. The exact diet of the cheetah though tends to depend on its location. The adult cheetah is a dominant predator in its environment and is therefore not seen as prey by other large predators. The cheetah cubs, however, are incredibly vulnerable particularly when their mother is off hunting and are preyed upon by some animals including lions and hyenas, but also large avian species such as eagles and vultures. The biggest threat to cheetahs is people who have not only taken vast areas of their natural habitat for themselves, but have also turned large regions of land into national parks. Although these areas seem to be showing increases in both lion and hyena populations, cheetah numbers are much lower as there is more competition for food with the increasing numbers of these other large predators. 
Today, the cheetah has been listed by the IUCN as a species that is vulnerable to extinction in its natural environment in the near future. Habitat loss, along with the increase of national parks that are home to a large number of competing predators, has led to drastic declines in the world's cheetah population. As you can see, cheetahs are strong cats and have amazing qualities, but can they cope in North America? North America is a continent of varied landscapes, stretching from the Arctic wastes of the far north to the narrow land bridge of Central America in the south and bounded by the Pacific Ocean to the west and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. Just like its habitats, the wildlife of North America is extremely diverse, ranging from hummingbirds to beavers to brown bears and all kinds of biological magnificence in between. There are six species of wild cats native to North America. Bobcat, Cougar, Canada Lynx, Ocelot, Jaguarundi, and Jaguar. Of all of those cats, the Cougar is the most prolific and lives from Canada all of the way through Argentina. Cougars can be found in a wide range of habitats, including deserts, savannas, tropical rainforests, and alpine steppes, both molecular and morphologic studies suggest that the cougar's origin dates to 5 to 8 million years ago, when their ancestors diverged from the cheetah's ancestors. After a time in which the American cheetah, which, despite its name, was actually a cougar and was nowhere near related to modern cheetahs, thrived, roamed the wilderness without being surpassed, and hunted proghorns with relative ease. It suddenly went extinct around 10,000 years ago and its extinction coincided with that of numerous North American mammals, including mammoths, saber-toothed cats, cave lions, and woolly rhinos. It is believed that there are two culprits behind the species' extinction. The first was the changing climate that occurred by the end of the Ice Age and warmed the Earth up, thus decimating the megafauna that couldn't stand the heat, while the other was the depletion of prey populations which in turn led to a heavy decline in American cheetah populations, an event that lowered genetic variability and gave way to a population bottleneck. Some scientists believe that there was probably a combination of both factors that induced the American cheetah's eradication. There's no question that a cheetah could hunt successfully in North America. Most deer are not as agile as an average gazelle, which is the edge a gazelle has in a chase. The cheetah has incredible speed, but it lacks the ability to change directions as quickly as a gazelle. The white-tailed deers, for example, are pretty bulky, but they can't change direction very well. Of course, cheetahs are only able to survive in open areas. They're not suited to living in forests. This means that the southern United States is almost ideal for them. There are plenty of large open plains they can live in, and they provide the prey they can hunt such as deer and proghorn. The only problem would be the local predators. Wolves, bears, mountain lions, and even coyotes can pose a serious threat to cheetahs. While cheetahs can probably take on a single coyote at most, the other animals would make things very difficult. The only counters for this one problem are that they would most often hunt what the local predators often give up on. And most of these predators are nocturnal, while the cheetah is diurnal. Plus, bears aren't going to be that frequent in desert environments, so they don't have to worry too much. However, you cannot take a species from an entirely different continent and climate and expect it to thrive. Very few species can survive in novel environments without human help. The rare exceptions become invasive species because they have a competitive advantage over the native species of the area. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think cheetahs could survive in North America? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.